Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, B Myers and Shanti. We're eating some extra special today, which, which is Cajun pasta. pasta. We are so excited to eat this right now. Yes. We filmed the whole recipe, oh. so sit tight. But stay tuned for that. Before you go anywhere, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below because we make videos every Monday, and you don't want to miss an upload, man. Yeah, man. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. And you can follow us on Instagram. Our mukbang account is mukbang.monday. You can follow bmars at bmars. bmars S Z. And my personal account is Shanti Marie underscore. So go follow us on all of our Instagrams. And let's get into the cooking now. Okay, so jumping right on into the recipe. This recipe is actually by Vegan Richa. It is, there's a lot of steps, so we actually made the breaded tofu ahead of time. So we're just gonna make the sauce for you guys on camera. These onions must be real cancery. Oh, no, no, it's I'm okay. So sorry. <laughs> Why am I so sensitive to them? It's so weird. Brittany's also a little sick. Freaking Halloween. So I'm just gonna first turn on the skillet here. That's the onion. That's the onion. Get that warming up. And for our ingredients for the sauce, I guess I'll just go over that now. We have three tablespoons of garlic, um, a half of a cup of chopped onion, a half a cup of sliced mushrooms, half of a red bell pepper sliced, um, seven ounces of firm tofu, one cup of non-dairy milk, I'm using unsweetened soy milk. Um, for our spices, there is a teaspoon of flour, onion powder, two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, mm. nutritional yeast, miso, and salt. And we're basically gonna cook everything and then blend it up, and that's gonna be our Cajun creamy sauce. I'm so excited to eat this, holy shit. Me too, we found this on Instagram and we've been like... I've been waiting. Yeah. To eat this. We both thought it looked so good. <coughs> Should we get started? So it says oh, to yeah. heat a teaspoon of oil in our skillet. <laughs> that was Just like complete <laughs> concentration. Maximum concentration required. <laughs> and you want to add the garlic? I have a starter now. <laughs> go, 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 garlic. Star and Stanley. <laughs> Do you have you seen the six of them? Yes. So good. But I. It's been a while. For me. I was thinking, I was like, what is that from? I can't remember. I used to think that movie was so scary. Like, you used to have nightmares. Really? Yeah. Do you want to know a fun fact? Huh. Yes. I thought that someone was going to come in my room and abduct me. Until I was like in high school, I slept in my mom's bed. Really? Yeah, because I thought someone was gonna come and kidnap me. I used to have that thought. I remember really one time I I remember thinking like this is so stupid, but I remember like in one of the houses I lived in growing up, like if you go down the hallway, it was like my room, my brother's room, and my parents' room. So it was like it was like this, like so it's like my room, my brother's room, and the parents' room over here. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking, like, at night, like, multiple times, like, at least if somebody comes, they'll get me first, and then my brother can leave. Aww. Like, I remember, like, thinking that growing up, like, being, like, at least, like... Wow, what a thoughtful child. I was, like, I'm going to sleep in my mom's bed. pretty sure if someone's going to, like, kill so me. protect me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to make the rounds. I don't know. I'm going to get a stir. Oh, oh. Give this a quick stir. I'm going to turn it down a little. The reason I was paranoid is because my parents watch nothing but uh, Law and & Order, and it's all about kidnapping. Yeah. <laughs> so good though, Law & Order. They watch like marathons of Law & Order all the time. That, is, that was like my biggest fear. Still is my biggest fear. <laughs> Probably. You know, yeah. You know something like I just read recently? Oh, I should have saved it, but it was like uh, millennials versus like baby boomer generation. Uh -huh. Oh, we should add in the bell pepper. It says only to cook these for like half a minute. Boom. Oh. Nice. Sorry, that was one. Is there more? I forgot 350. Yeah, maybe a little more. Smoke it. I'm gonna splash in some of this tofu juice. <laughs> Just, I feel like you need some like liquid. Yeah. There we go. And I think you can add in, oh, add the mushrooms too. I didn't read the rest of the sentence. 
and it says cook until golden. I'm gonna stir it up. Boom. What are you saying? Oh, I read this article that was like millennials versus baby boomers. Because, you know, baby boomers love to hate on millennials. Mm -hmm. And um, it was so spot on. Like, I, I have to find it. But one of the articles was like, uh, baby boomers make fun of millennials for like chasing their dreams. They're not just like getting a job and having a nine to five. But like baby boomers lived for working, retiring at 55 and then watching TV for 12 hours a day. And I was like... Yo, I feel like that's so true. Like, <laughs> so many, like, the, the older generation does just watch an insane amount of TV. Yeah. All day long. You're right. I don't watch any TV. I never watch TV unless it's, like, specific. Like, I'm, like, waiting for Game of Thrones or, like... Yeah, a show. Like, a show, yeah. That's true. We always had the TV on at all hours of the day. Yeah. Like, just all the time growing up. I, like, I watch all the stupid MTV shows. Yes. All of those are amazing. <laughs> Room well, readers. I do watch a lot of YouTube, though. That's true. Uh, I don't know, I go on YouTube and then I'm like, there's nothing to watch on here. And then there's like millions of videos uploaded like per second. If I have nothing to do, oh, wait, what's that? if I have nothing to do, I will get sucked in a YouTube hole. Like, really? I could spend hours just like watching videos on YouTube. I feel like it's kind of like TV. That's why I get with Instagram more so. I'm just like, it's kind of stupid. Yeah, I've been thinking about deleting my Instagram. Yeah, I've been seriously considering deleting my Instagram. Is it messing with your brain? I'm just addicted to it, and I scroll, yeah. and I don't even know why I'm scrolling, and I'm yeah. just stuck in a hole, and I'm like, this has zero purpose. Yeah, what am I doing here? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then, like, my Instagram isn't even really related to my YouTube channel, so I feel like I could just delete it, and then still have, like, my YouTube channel, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I feel like nowadays, that. me and Max talk about this a lot, like, because he's kind of, like, trying to figure out where he wants to create content still. And I was, like, back in the day, like, if you had a successful YouTube channel, you had a successful... Instagram or Twitter or whatever like people follow you on multiple platforms, but nowadays like wait before we get Talking too much. Yeah, I think we might be ready. Be ready. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. No, it's fine Because these are looking pretty golden. Yeah, they look golden as great <laughs> <laughs> So in our blender, I'm gonna blend this off camera because my blender's like all the way in the kitchen That's like kind of <laughs> stuck to the table <laughs> <laughs> flew out the window like or just like got stuck to the wall right there i would be furious that i would immediately order taco bell i'd be like that was so fast <laughs> there's like stickies on the bottom of the yeah there's the like stick. rubbers <laughs> one cup of soy milk that's a half of a block of tofu i don't know if that's correct but our spice blend that i told you guys earlier mm. and i'm just gonna go Blend this up. I'll be our Oh my god, I'm so hungry. All right, so we're gonna. I blended up our concoction. We're gonna add it to our veggies and then bring it up to a simmer or boil. I freaking love Cajun pasta. I, I had. I made had a, it. I made an ASMR video on here. That one did pretty good. Yeah, it did. I think it's at like 20k. One one ASMR video that people actually liked, and like that's like my go-to order at Chili's. I've never had it. Work. I'm so excited. I've never really had Cajun anything. Oh god. So we pre-boiled this. Um, this is tagliatelle. This is that good. <laughs> this is the best pasta. Oh my god, it's so good. It comes in these little nests. It's really fun to boil. They're like a little ball. Yeah, it's a little bird's nest. It's so good. This noodle is like our favorite because it's fat. Um, We've done Italian pasta in a while. Yeah, someone um, in our last video requested like pasta, and then someone requested noodles, and then someone else requested that we uh, do more cooking videos. So this is for all of you guys. Yeah. I feel like people are getting over our noodles for a while, so I'm glad they're back on the train because I am back also. Yeah. Well, does this count as noodles? I feel like this is more like pasta. Pasta, pasta noodles. Does that still hit that same nerve, that satisfaction? For I don't know, because they like, they don't have that like, buoyancy that like, Korean noodles do. Yeah. Or like, ramen. Um, I'm just reading our instructions, sorry to be rude. Did you make that ASMR? Not yet, I've been so busy. I, uh, 
figured you'd do an ASMR. I bought, I totally forgot I bought like those spicy noodles, the Sam Young ones. Oh. And I have the carbo flavor and a different flavor, so I can do an ASMR too. I like Oh, nice. We're going to be f***ing loaded up. Yeah, I notice our overall view counts are just all red. Everything is red for our channel. So um, we were thinking about bringing back some ASMR videos on Wednesdays. Um, even though not many of you guys like the ASMR, but they're just really easy for us to make and hopefully like some and of you guys will enjoy it. And a niche it. audience. We get comments like asking for them sometimes, so it's like very, yeah. we're very confused and torn about it. Like, about our audience? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, I don't always have something to talk about for the Wednesdays and they're just like way harder to, to make. Do alone. Yeah. yeah, to make alone. Like when it's us together, it's just like fun and like not doesn't seem like work no yeah it's just like a hangout session that we later have to like edit <laughs> yeah okay i'm gonna add the pasta in so that's update on the wednesdays we're thinking about doing wednesdays asmr and then i like feel weird like i'm like i should do them alone and then some of them i do with max but then when i start doing the max he's like is it weird if i do them alone and i don't ask him to do it like i feel guilty <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so like, you can't be in this one like i need to do a wednesday alone do you know what i mean <laughs> it's like so oh, I was getting so weird about it. Yeah, I understand. Wow. <laughs> I just started salvating. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so, so happy. Do you want to turn down the heat? It's getting a little stuck. Got the big shit three handy. <laughs> this breaded tofu was super easy to make, um, but I didn't film it. But it was basically like. You make a marinade for your tofu and then you soak it for like 10 minutes and then I put the breading on and then I baked it. It was really easy. What's the breading? The breading is panko breadcrumbs and onion flakes. Okay, you guys, here is the finished product. It looks so good. Okay. Now let's get into the eating. Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh wait, I got you the tongs. I don't want to put my fork in there. I don't want to give you a cold. Me either. Although Max isn't sick, so... Yeah, you know what? I feel like you probably are feeling sick, not only from working, but from the fires. Colin said that every single person at his office, from because they work in Santa Monica, is like has like a head cold now. Really? Yeah, because like they can smell the smoke through their air vents. You know what's crazy? Actually, the oh, was that a right that after the um. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> the oyster. <laughs> no. <laughs> after the last fire, the um, I don't know if the Gettys one is still happening or not. But I got a nosebleed at night. I was like taking off my makeup and like I was like, I don't know if I was like scrubbing my face too hard, but and like my skin is really dry. So I guess the inside of my nose is also really dry. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, I just started bleeding. I never had a nosebleed before I moved to LA. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've been super dry. Like all my nose corners are like chafing. My lips are super dry. Yeah. And there was a fire literally so close to my house. I saw that. That was yeah. scary. When I came home, it smelled like, not even like fire, but like burnt, like plastic. It was a recycling plant that caught on fire. So I'm just imagining like all the shit that was burning. Like oh. it smelled so bad, but that was like a couple of days ago. So. It's crazy how bad these fires are for the air, like the pollution. <laughs> no kidding. Did you see what happened in India? No. Oh, dude. Well, we can talk about that in a second. It's messed up. Really? All right, first bite. You guys, I am so ready for this. I cannot wait. <laughs> we can kind of see our place down here too. Yeah, that's perfect. Hey, cheers, cheers. Look at that bite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Mm. Mm, oh my God. Well. Mm. You like it? You hit the nail right on the head. It's so good. It's not my recipe, but will you follow the instructions good? Yeah, performed it eloquently. <laughs> mm. oh it's so sticky. It is sticky. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Can we just take a couple moments to appreciate? Mmm. Mm. Wow. The fat nudes. That's all I gotta say. It's literally everything. It's everything. 
I think this could use some hot sauce though. Mmm. You got more Cajun. Hmm? You got more Cajun. Is the Cajun seasoning spicy? Mm hmm. It's supposed to be. Because this isn't super, super spicy. Mm hmm. Very mild. Mmm. I also think we have a high pay tolerance. I'm gonna get some hot sauce. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? Fairly recently, we made the one pot creamy pasta. Mmm. Uh huh. Kind of reminds me of that. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah. I just think it needs more occasion. More occasion? Yeah, we were supposed to like t test, taste test, but we did not. Uh... Mm. Do you like it? Oh yeah. I'm so happy we made this. Mm -hmm. It was everything I wanted. <clears throat> mm, with the tapatio, it's really good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like a little bit like vinegary. Is there a in there? I don't know. It's good. It's real good. You try. All my breading kind of came off though. Is the tofu? Mm hmm I think it wasn't like glued on there real good. Um, I was gonna ask you something I forgot. Talk about India. Oh, what did you find out in India? Can I have the tongs? I want more. Mm -hmm. So I follow. I like read Twitter news. Mm. Yeah. And India right now is a critical. I think it's like um. Or I think they like are at a state of emergency because their air quality is so bad that it's literally a gas chamber in I think it's Delhi. I can't remember specifically, but like the chart says like it's unsafe after 25, like whatever, I forget the, what the measurement is of, mm -hmm. and they're at 999, they're off the charts, it's as far as it goes. They had to cancel flights into India because the smog is so thick that they can't, they, the pilots can't see through it. Are you kidding me? You read that on like a Twitter news thing? Yeah. I want to read that. That's it's so uh, sad. Excuse me. Oh, I just flew on pasta everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> that's crazy. I read something about um, the river Ga Ganges being horribly polluted too. I, I watched like a documentary on it. So like, I was like, how did it get so bad? Like, and a lot of it is vehicle emissions, but a lot of it is they burn their trash, they burn their crops, and then the crop fire smoke goes into with the city smog of the, the vehicle emissions and it mixes together with like construction dust oh my and it sticks. And a lot of the people are in poverty. So they're burning, like they're burning um, like anything they can basically to start a fire to cook foods. So they'll burn like cow poop and like stuff like that, that like leads to really bad air pollution. Wow. Yeah. Right? Well, That's crazy. I want to read that. That's so sad. It's so sad. I was just... Like, middle... middle, Not even middle age, like, young women and, pe like, kids and stuff have, like, lung cancer. Wow. That's crazy. It's as bad as smoking two packs a day. Just living? Can you imagine just, like, living, you can't even breathe, like, fresh air? Like, you need to breathe and, like, you can't? Yeah. That's actually, so I know this isn't as bad as that, but I was watching this other like documentary. I think it's called like The Right to Breathe. It's about that, but like in LA, like how like poor cities like have like highways going through them and just like how the air pollution is like really bad. There was like a hundred like dangerous like air quality days that like you shouldn't go outside. But that's like nowhere near as bad as like being like a gas chamber, like you said. But yeah, you should see the pictures, dude. I just want to like show you one. Like, if like 
what we've been smelling here is bad. Like, I couldn't imagine living like that. Oh my god. Isn't that insane? Is it always like this, or is it just like... It just got really bad right now, because right now it's a crop burning season. Mmm. Wow. Well, I wonder if we have any viewers from there. Oh. It's scary. Like, your government has to, like... You need laws like that will protect you, you know? Like, they don't have a lot of environmental laws. I was also watching the documentary. <laughs> All I do is... Not really. <sighs> um... I feel like that's what you and Colin like to do together. Like, me and Max just binge watch The Office and you and Colin, like, watch documentaries. Mm hmm That's true, I watch all these with Colin. I was watching this other documentary about Kauai. The north side of the island is, like, very, like, clean and, like, more, like, touristy. The south side of the island is where more of, like, natives, not, not natives, but, like, visit natives? Or, like, more, like, Hawaiians? Yeah. Live. And that's where, like, Monsanto does all of its, like, testing. What's Monsanto? Monsanto is, like, GMOs. Like, um, they made the pesticide Roundup, which is, like, linked to, like, a, be, like, a major carcinogen. It, like, kills weeds. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot. It also, like, kills you. Yes, it's a, it's a <laughs> lot to get into, but, like, Monsanto does all of its testing on, like, the south side of the island where, like, all the natives and, like, not as, like, wealthy area is. Um, and like all the people that live around there have like lung problems, they all have like asthma. Oh. Yeah, and I was just watching something about that too. It's crazy you're getting fun of that. It's crazy that this is a problem in 2019. Yeah, and they like tried to pass all this legislation to get Monsanto to like stop like testing. Oh, and there's like schools that live right next to like the fields and like the kids like will like pass out and like have all these problems. Yeah, and then like none of the legislation passed to like try to get Monsanto to like stop doing that. Oh, because they paid them off. Yeah. Isn't that sad? Yeah. I didn't finish terrible. the documentary, but I just know that none of this stuff passed. And you know, it's like for the people, I feel like. It's so hard to get passed if it's the people against... Big companies. A big company. Yeah. 100% my dude. Okay, I saw the documentary a while ago. I don't know if everything I said was right, but... That was like the gist of it. Um, do you want have anything to talk about today? I figured we were just gonna cook. Oh, really? mm. Me and Chantal both got Shane Dawson palette. Mm. I got the big one, the conspiracy, and you got the mini palette. Yeah, it was crazy trying to order it. So, B Mars was the smart one, ordered it off of Beautylish, mm -hmm. got it like literally two days later, had no problems. It was crazy because I had, I, I was like, I'm not going to get it because I worked the night before. And I woke up because I had to pee, and it was 9.30. And I was like, I should just stay awake, because this launch is in 10 minutes, or 30 minutes, like. Because I didn't set an alarm or anything, you know? And so I went on the computer, I had all three websites, like Jeffree Star, Morphe, and Beautylish. Wow, you're so smart. And I was looking, immediately Jeffree Star just crashes, and I was like, bye. But I just kind of assumed that was going to happen. Me too. Because that's what everyone knows about. And then the Beautylish one, I, like, read online that that was the seller of Jeffree Star, and I, like, had signed up for a newsletter, like, beforehand. But I was really worried because I never ordered from them before. Like, I was like, what if this is a counterfeit website? But it's real. My one friend waited in the line for three hours at a grocery store. Who? Blair. Mmm. That's crazy. Right? Three hours? I mean, I waited, like... Not consistently, but like hours refreshing the Jeffree Star page. I knew that you could get it on Morphe, but I just assumed that like that would be sold out faster because I figured they had like less quantity. So my tactic was like refreshing Jeffree Star. I spent like 30 minutes doing that, just like kind of refreshing, like looking at Twitter, like, and I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna sit here all day and like refresh the page. Yeah. So then I went about my day and then I checked at like two just to see. And the mini was, I wanted the mini, not the big one, because I like the mini better. <coughs> and then the mini was there. Like, miraculously, I was shocked. Yeah. And so I bought the mini. 
At like 2 o'clock. Yeah, the, and then it came out that like the website had problems and they didn't even get the mini up till late. Yeah, which was perfect for me because that's the one I wanted. Yeah. <sighs> so let us know if you guys got your hands on the Jeffree Star palette or if you don't give a frick and you want us to like stop talking about it. Yeah, like <laughs> never again. Are you going to make a, a uh, YouTube video with it? No. <laughs> Definitely not. Are you? I was debating it, but... <laughs> that would be the shittiest YouTube video for me, not yeah. you. If I tried to make a like review. I thought we could review them on the mukbang. Yeah, but you haven't got yours yet. Yeah, it's gonna take like two weeks probably. Why would it be shitty for you to do? You've done, you've done a makeup video before. Yeah, I haven't in like two years. Yeah. I'm so bad at makeup. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do one. <laughs> but I would never do like a swatch video. Let's be honest, I'm too lazy to watch that myself, let alone watch myself do it on my own body. Oh my god. I feel like if you were to do it, you have to do it like immediately. Because you have yours like before a lot of people. Yeah, I was going to film it today, but then I laid in bed sick. dying. Yeah, you should do it like tomorrow and then post it. But should I do like a look? No. Yeah. I'm not a makeup artist either. Like, I barely. And then you could do like, is it really worth it? Yeah. And then I could do one of those thumbnails like. Yeah. I think I hate those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like if I do it, people are going to be like, who is poser? But, I mean. I feel like I should just because there's hype around it, you know? It's like doing a trend. Yeah, but like for me, by the time I get mine, it's there's going to be like 4,000 videos up. videos up already. Ugh, I should have done it today. I just felt so terrible. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Yeah, I was planning on wearing my makeup and then being like, okay, let's cut that looks. And instead, I just look like this. <laughs> I look like a proper mom. <laughs> I'm getting full. Same. Mm -hmm. I need to put my arms up to like save room down below, you know? Lift it up. <laughs> well, I'm getting real full. Same. I can probably finish this on my plate. I'm eating not because I'm hungry, I'm eating because it tastes good, you know? I'm eating because I want to clear my plate. Mm. Oh. <laughs> really glad this turned out well. Oh, same. I'm looking forward to this for weeks. <laughs> mm, we should do more of these. Oh yeah. Guys, let us know in the comments below what video you want to see us make next. We are always looking for suggestions. Chantal combined all of your suggestions. Mm-hmm. Boom. And found this bad boy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pasta. Noodles. Cooking. I saw someone said do Indian food again. Mmm. Then yeah. we could try to make some Indian food. I was thinking that as well. Let us know. Ow. I try. I've tried to make Indian food. I'm just not very good at it. I don't know why. It seems hard. Like whenever I make curry, it just doesn't taste as good when you buy it. Yeah, at a store. That's how I feel with burritos. Mmm. No matter how many burritos I make at home, it's never as good as Chipotle. Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not just Chipotle like, anywhere. I think it's like the tortilla at stores is different from like restaurant. To yeah, tortillas. restaurants they use those massive ones. So you can yeah. like, stuff it. And they're like really thin. Mm. Stretchy. True. Am I hungry again? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe before you go. Let us know what else you want us to make. This was really fun. Let us know this. if you guys got a Shane Dawson palette slash merch. If you love the series, hate the series, want us to never talk about him again, you know. We've talked about it a lot. Yeah, well, he uh, uploaded like seven episodes. Did you see? Real quick, that a lot of people were calling him clickbait because he didn't include any of the drama, like with Tati and James. Oh, that's dumb. I mean, he just wanted to go a different direction and make more about the business. Yeah, I feel like he just like changed his mind. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, I could care less because I'm almost 30 years old, but let me know if, <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> care about the drama. if you wanted to know about the drama. <laughs> I mean, it'd be interesting to see. It'd be nice to know the answers, like why did Jeffree Starfield need to put in? That's kind of just all I want to know. I just, I feel like if you would have said something, it would have made Jeffrey look bad because he didn't have any place to like insert himself into it. Yeah, it wasn't your battle. <coughs> anyway. Anyways, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Mukbang Monday out.